Welcome to Get Mojo, where we do the research so you don't have to. In this video, we're offering our picks for the five best guitar amps on the market. Shopping for a guitar amp can be stressful. You want to do your guitar playing justice, but you might not have the budget for an expensive amp. And even if you've got the budget, you don't want to end up with something that's over-engineered and can't even produce a quality clean sound. Well, fear not because we've taken a crack at shortlisting what we think are the five best amps in the market after sifting through numerous websites and consumer reviews. So let's get to it. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Get Mojo and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. The All-in-One Positive Grid Spark Guitar Amplifier Positive Grid might be a new, unfamiliar name to many, but this amp is without a doubt one of the best pieces of musical gear you can buy if you're either a beginner or seasoned guitarist. Sure, this 40-watt amp looks pretty unassuming, but this amp is basically capable of creating a whole library of classic tube amp sounds and effects. It also has a feature called Auto Chord, which helps you figure out the chord progressions to the music you're listening to on something like Spotify. Then there's its incredible Smart Jam feature, which allows the amp to create a backing track to your playing. Oh, and guess what? This amp is also extremely reasonably priced. The Value Boss Pick Boss Katana 100 MK2 While this Boss amp isn't quite for accompanying rock stars at an arena, it's a great value pick for those who like jamming at home and playing around with different tones and effects. The sound out of this thing is awesome, with five main channels to choose from. Clean, crunch, lead, brown, and acoustic, as well as a bunch of built-in effects that allow you to play around with things like delay and tremolo. A huge boon of this model is that you can hook it up to a computer and gain access to even more effects. It can even record straight to a digital format, which is great for demoing your new tracks. The Small But Mighty One Fender Blues Junior 4 the term small and mighty gets thrown around a lot with amps, but it certainly applies to this little Fender hot rod. Although nothing particularly special or complex, this 15-watt valve combo amp does clean tones and crisp sounds really well, which makes it an awesome hub for adding your own pedals and effects. Something that is worth noting is its fat switch, which gives you fuller, chunkier sounding tones. This can be activated on the amp itself or via the included foot switch. We like the retro aesthetic with this amp too, with its aged grill cloth and ivory knobs. The Clean and Mean One Hughes & Kettner Tube Meister 20 Deluxe Head You'll likely find yourself compromising with an amp that's either great at producing clean tones or one that's got killer overdrive. But this Hughes & Kettner Tube Amp somehow excels at both. Although more suited to smaller gigs and at-home jamming, this is really a versatile amp, especially when taken into a studio thanks to its Redbox AEDI output, which allows you to emulate a bunch of different sounds. Of course, we can't not talk about its design, which helps add a little extra flair to your rig. The Classic Fender Sound Fender 68 Custom Deluxe Reverb Although this may be a little overkill for at-home playing, if you're seeking that so-called Fender Sound, then this is one of the best Fender amps money can buy. And by Fender Sound, we're talking about bright, plucky tones that elevate your playing above everything else on stage or in a mix. If you know, you know. We love that this amp has a vintage channel to help emulate the Fender tones of old, but you also get a custom channel too for some more experimental playing. And you've got to love that vintage style silver face aesthetic. So which amp should you go for? Well, the versatility of the Positive Grid Spark is amazing, so if you want to jam along with a backing track and experiment with the vast library of sounds, it's a no-brainer. If you're seeking more of a no-nonsense classic tone, though, you can't go wrong with a Fender. And if you're chasing classic tones but at a more affordable price, then maybe look at the Boss. Stay tuned to Get Mojo for the most complete video product reviews. Check out this other recent clip from Get Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.